Did you know that hydraulic drive, even though it sounds modern, actually has its roots in the 19th century? This technology revolutionized machines and vehicles by delivering unmatched power and control. But why isn't it so common today? In this video, you'll discover how it works, its unique advantages, and why it remains vital in certain trucks and heavy machinery. Stick around until the end, it'll surprise you. An ancient concept with 19th century origins. Although it may seem like a modern idea, hydraulic drive is nothing new. Its foundations go back to the 19th century when British engineer William Armstrong developed hydraulic systems to power industrial machinery. He applied Pascal's principle, which allows force to be transmitted and multiplied through a fluid. It's the same principle behind hydraulic pistons or those systems that lift dump truck beds. At the time, it was revolutionary. Over the years, the widespread use of hydraulics sparked a technological leap in excavators and other heavy equipment. Early experiments with hydraulic transmissions for tractors in the United States also began, still in rudimentary form, but offering better speed control for farm work. Early uses of hydraulic drive in vehicles. When we talk specifically about hydraulic drive systems to move vehicles, there were already concrete examples by the 1960s. For instance, international harvester harvesters in the 1970s in Europe used such systems. There were also prototypes of fire trucks and street sweepers with hydrostatic drive in the front axle. The well-known brand John Deere, active in Brazil, began testing this technology on the front axle of its motor graders in the late 1970s. A curious fact, in 1989, Brazil's industrial engineering faculty designed a low floor bus with the engine on the roof and hydraulic drive in the wheels. This showed that the idea was still alive and engineers were thinking about expanding its use. However, its real-world adoption was uneven, mainly limited to agricultural machinery like harvesters, sprayers, forklifts, and tractors. Hydrostatic drive in modern trucks. The real breakthrough for this technology in everyday vehicles came in 2005 when Mayen introduced the Hydro Drive, a hydrostatic front axle for road trucks. This system was intended for vehicles that needed extra traction in certain conditions without sacrificing efficiency or payload capacity. It was light, reliable, and that was a huge advantage. Was it resistant to the famous steel termite, the wear that destroys mechanical systems? Indeed, HydroDrive was up to 750 kilos lighter than a traditional mechanical 4 or 4 system with a differential, leaving more capacity for payload. It could also be activated or deactivated while in motion, and it delivered full torque from zero speed, perfect for slippery, rough, or steep terrain. How does a hydrostatic drive system work? In a vehicle with hydrostatic drive, part of the engine's power goes to a hydraulic pump that pressurizes oil and sends it through hoses to hydraulic motors installed in the wheel hubs. This system has been adopted by several brands. For example, Evico developed the Hydro Tracker with a front axle using hydraulic motors integrated into the wheel hubs. This meant the truck could run normally with rear wheel drive, but when facing inclines, mud, or gravel, the driver could activate a system that delivered extra torque to the front axle without the need for heavy mechanical transfer systems. Ivico also experimented with this technology in urban vehicles like garbage trucks. Meanwhile, Mercedes-Benz unveiled a hydrostatic auxiliary drive in 2011 for models like the Actros and Arox, designed for dump trucks and road maintenance vehicles. Growing interest and unusual applications. In 2013, the media was surprised by experimental motorcycles featuring hydraulic drive in the front wheel. This showed a growing interest among manufacturers in expanding hydraulic drive to different types of vehicles, offering lighter and more affordable alternatives to traditional 666 or 8x8 all-wheel drive systems. Companies saw the potential of this technology to offer on-demand traction, adaptable to each specific need. Evico, for instance, 
widely used the system in its tracker line. In 2011, when the series was updated to the T-Way model, they also incorporated this hydraulic front wheel option in various configurations. Key advantages of hydrostatic drive. As mentioned, hydrostatic drive offers high torque and power, multiplying and transmitting force through flexible connections. That's why hydraulics are so common in machines, hydraulic jacks, brakes, and steering systems. It also provides extremely precise and smooth movement, an important benefit for controlling vehicles in difficult situations. Why hasn't it become more popular? Despite all these advantages, the technology didn't become as widespread as traditional mechanical drive systems. One major reason is the friction and heat loss. These problems are tied to pressure, distance, and operating speed, which can reduce efficiency and even damage the system. In vehicles, while hydrostatic drive delivers constant power from zero speed, its maximum speed is limited. That's why it's recommended for low speed use, common in slow machinery or trucks that need it only in extreme situations. Typically, the system automatically disconnects when the vehicle exceeds 25 to 30 kilometers per hour. Additionally, although it's lighter, its initial cost is higher. Hydraulic pumps, oil radiators, and wheel hub motors require specialized maintenance because they generate substantial heat and need adequate cooling systems to prevent oil, degradation, and component wear. A system made for specific needs. For this reason, the technology is designed for a very specific niche. Those who need extra traction occasionally with fuel savings and flexibility. With current technologies, it hasn't gone mainstream, but it's offered for various custom configurations. Complete axles can be installed in any truck, such as the hard drive models, and it's also used in trailers, agricultural tractors, and truck-trailer combinations to improve traction on difficult terrain. Why not on smaller cars? It's certainly possible. A visual look at the technology the videos shown illustrate the function and applications of the technology very clearly. It's fascinating to see how a hydraulic system can transform the way a vehicle handles tough terrain without adding much weight or mechanical complexity. A closing for the tech enthusiast. If the power and versatility of hydrostatic drive blew your mind, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to continue exploring innovations that are transforming the world on wheels. See you in the next adventure where strength and technology meet to open up new roads. Up new roads.